What's up guys, Zach Scott here, and thanks to you, this channel, Zach Scott Games, now has over 200,000 subscribers. I couldn't be more grateful for all that you've done, all the views, um, all of all that you've done, all the friends that you've brought in to watch my videos, and they've become subscribers as well. Thanks so much. Thanks to all the Scotlanders who on my Minecraft series have provided me with a lot of video content over the past couple of years. Uh, thanks in particular to two people who I feel were perhaps the strongest and most instrumental in driving uh, viewers my way. Uh, one is Dane Bow, who when he uh, when he uh, first you know kind of got on YouTube. Ever since then, he's been driving viewers to my main Zach Scott channel. And uh, when he launched the Annoying Orange, uh, he let me be a little part of that uh, as the Pineapple Paint Apple. And um, thanks so much, Dane Bow. I know that my success on YouTube is largely part, uh, in part due to uh, your success and what you've done to drive viewers to my channel. Even more recently, when he did one of his Dane Bow Exposed videos, he, drew, uh, he drove a lot of viewers over to my Twitter account. Uh, so I am forever in Dane Bow's debt for helping me boost my audience. Also, uh, another person perhaps uh, most instrumental in my Zach's, in driving viewers to my Zach Scott Games channel, the Rad Brad. Right when I launched my channel, he messaged me. He said he was going to help me out. I didn't quite know what that meant, but ever since then, uh, he has had me on his featured channels list on his on his channel, and a lot of viewers have come to my channel from his ever since I first launched Zach Scott Games. So thank you so much, the Rad Brad. You have done a lot for me, and I am also in your debt as well. And uh, those are just the two people who I think are most instrumental in driving viewers and subscribers my way. Again, I'd like to thank all of you guys, all the Scotlanders, everyone who has helped my channel grow. Thank you guys so much. I'm forever grateful uh, to have this type of uh, attention on YouTube, uh, this, these number of viewers, this type of audience, especially on my games channel. I've experienced this on my Zach Scott channel, my main channel, before. Uh, I think I have about 220 uh, thousand subscribers, but th this channel, Zach Scott Games, is going to surpass that in no time soon. In no time, very soon. <laughs> Probably misspoke a little bit there, but uh, I'm I the the fact that I have this many people watching me play video games and commentate about video games uh, is just something I didn't think was was possible a few years ago. And once I realized that this could be something that you could do on YouTube, you know, I love video games. I decided to launch my Zach Scott Games channel. I got a partnership with Machinima, and uh, you know, ever since then, this thing has just taken off. And um, so I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for the exposure. I'm thankful to be alive, quite frankly, because just uh, last Monday, a tornado swept through Oklahoma, two miles north of my house. Uh, you know, if it went any one direction, if it went well, if it went south two miles, uh, my house would have been gone. I was at work at the time. I'm thankful that my my family, the Ashley, my pets are all okay. Uh, Samuel's okay. It was like um, just a mile or less south of Samuel. And uh, But there's a lot of people that I know, um, none of my really close friends, but a lot of people that I know who I uh, am friends with, who I am acquaintances with, who lost their homes. And uh, I, I think perhaps it is almost my responsibility due to the fact that I have such a large audience here on the Zach Scott Games channel, a large audience who tunes in to my channel nearly every day, to kind of shed light on this and I'll tell you my story about the, the tornado because it was a major international news story I did a video on my Zach Scott channel kind of showing off the wreckage because I had to walk through it to get home I had to walk like three miles home which is not a big deal uh, compared to what other people you know had to suffer through uh, but just uh, I think it's important that I share my story I also bring it to attention you know if you want to donate to help out Oklahomans in need you know I've been I since I live close to it I've driven through just the utter chaos, the utter devastation. And um, if you want to help out in any sort of way, you can donate to the American Red Cross Disaster Relief. Uh, links will be in the description here. You can donate there. Um, you can text them. Uh, you can donate at their website. Uh, I think what they do is they basically, you know, whatever the ongoing disaster is, they just funnel all the money towards there. Then anything left over goes to the next disaster, so on and so forth. Uh, so it seems like a good organization. I haven't done too much research into it to see how much goes to overhead, how much goes to actual disaster relief, but I hear it's it's a pretty good proportion goes to actual disaster relief. If you want to do something a little more personal, if you want to like, you know, like me, I much prefer to help someone directly. Um, but if you want to do something a little more personal, uh, there are two people who I know uh, who have funds online. Uh, I don't know them extremely well. I'm not like close, close friends with them or anything like that. Like I said, most of my close friends and close family uh, were spared. Uh, but they... Uh, 
uh, one is is praying for Jennifer Doan. It's a fund uh, that you can donate to. She was actually at the Plaza Towers Elementary School protecting the children when that tornado, you know, demolished that building, and a lot of children and people died there. Um, she survived with uh, pretty pretty bad injuries. Uh, here she's out of the hospital now, but there's a a uh, fund up for her to kind of help support her. Uh, there's a link in the description below. She was actually, I went to high school with her. I sat right next to her in a few classes. And uh, she's a great person. Uh, she was a teacher there. Uh, she did her best to help protect the kids. And um, fortunately, she's still with us today. Um, another another fund is, um, it's on Indiegogo. You probably have seen this on, it went viral. Um, basically, the Wolf Blitzer was interviewing this, this lady named Re- Rebecca. And uh, I, I knew her a little bit from college. And she, uh, she basically said, you know, she, he asked if she was thankful, uh, if she thanked the Lord, and she, she admitted that she was an atheist. And that video clip went viral. I'm not an atheist myself, but, uh, you know, whoever you are, regardless of your religion or, or a lack thereof, if you're in need, um, I think that you deserve help. And so I know that a lot of the viewers here will be like, well, why do I want to help an atheist or something like that? I, I know that some people are very religious. Some people aren't religious. Um, I'm kind of in between. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not very religious myself, but I'm not an atheist either. But um, there's a fund up there. It's it's actually kind of driven by an atheist com- uh, comedian, and uh, the the fundraising is driven by the atheist community. Um, just so you know, and it's it's uh, there's a link below there as well. It's already exceeded its goal. So those are two. Those are just two people I know who have funds going up. Uh, if you want to help someone directly, or you can donate to the American Red Cross, the Salvation Army. There are so many. Uh, funds right now um, going towards uh, tornado victims. And I will say, if you don't want to donate directly, uh, you know, if you don't want to donate to help out directly, um, all of my t-shirt profits that, uh, which is usually about anywhere from two to four dollars a shirt, uh, I will be donating those directly to, um, to help out. I'll figure out which groups, I haven't decided quite yet which groups are going to get my donation exactly, but I will be donating that uh, at least all the way up until uh, the end of June, uh, from the beginning of my t-shirt shop all the way to now. So if you already bought a t-shirt, I will be donating those funds. I haven't withdrawn it from my Spreadshirt account yet. Uh, so I will withdraw those funds, everything, ever since I launched my t-shirt shop for the, like the past year, up until the end of June, I will be donating that. Uh, so I'm going to boost up my the prices of my t-shirts just a little bit by $1 or $2 each. And... Um, all the profits that I make from that will go directly to help tornado victims and uh, up until the end of June, at least. And uh, it's zackscott.spreadshirt.com. Uh, that way, if you want to get a t-shirt, now is a great time because uh, it'll go towards a good cause. Or you can du- uh, donate directly to any any organization, really. I'll, I'll have links in the description below uh, for organizations and people that you can donate to. And um, so, yeah, that, that's if you want to help out. I think that would be really amazing of you guys. Um, the Moore community in Oklahoma has been devastated, uh, not just once, but twice now within the past 15 or three times, actually, within the past 15 years, uh, due to tornado, uh, tornadoes. And, um, my personal story, I will just tell you now, again, I mean, I know this is like to celebrate my 200,000 subscribers, but I, th- I think it's the thing to do to kind of let you guys in, uh, know about this and raise awareness. My tornado story was, you know, not that crazy. Um, I was at work. I actually, the sirens went off. I actually saw the tornado form outside of my work window after it passed through you know I was watching the news I was on the phone with Ashley and I was telling her like I think it's gonna go like at this particular area I think you're safe and um, as soon as it passed the the highways I tried to drive home right then because I wasn't positive because her phone's cut out <laughs> and that's just because you know it hit the, the power went out and also like cell towers went out so I tried to drive home. I couldn't go any further south past a certain point. So I ended up parking my car and walking like three miles home because the traffic was at a standstill. There was just no way for me to go around anymore. And um, so I parked my car and I walked and I had to walk through uh, a very horrible, destroyed a neighborhood that was just leveled. And I know like three people who live who live in that neighborhood. I, I know more people who live in that neighborhood. But I mean, I just like, I know like, I've talked to three people who have who have lost homes there, and it's just really devastating. And uh, they were lucky, you know. the The one girl who was interviewed by Wolf Blitzer, Re- Rebecca, she was in her bathtub with a helmet on and and looking at her laptop. And the news said, you know, if you're not underground, you're not going to survive this because it was just that large. 
that large and that slow moving of a tornado. And so she got in her car and drove off. And thankfully that saved her and, and her child and uh, her cats ended up surviving as well. So um, all around good news for her. Other people were not quite as fortunate. Uh, a lot of people died. And um, I think it's at least over two dozen have, have died. I'm not sure on the exact number. I haven't checked it lately. Uh, but the whole community here is devastated. Um, if you want to help out, please do. I and, and you know, you see my video. I just I I was trying to get out of there. I didn't want to get in anyone's way. Rescue crews were already there helping people, and um, no one that I know needed help. I asked a couple people. I kind of scoured a house that two dogs came out of uh, with a couple other people. But uh, I ended up making it home. Um, but man, it was what I saw was awful. I saw a lot more than I showed on video because I wasn't filming the whole time. I just would occasionally, you know, you know, take a video. And I, you know, I, f I felt like I shouldn't even be there, be doing that. But there were photographers there and everything. And um, it was just a really crazy day. And I was just trying to walk through and get out of there. And uh, so anyway, that's my story. Again, I, I'm i fine. <laughs> you know, I'm fine. Don't send me anything because I'm fine. My house is fine. My family's fine. Uh, you know, if you want to donate, donate directly to those sources. Uh, there's several different sources. If you don't want to donate directly, uh, just as uh, a little bit of comfort, if you buy a T-shirt, uh, all all the profits from those T-shirt sales will go directly uh, to some some of those funds. So, guys, thanks so much. Two hundred thousand subscribers. It's the big one. Well, one of the big ones. The next up is two hundred two hundred one thousand. <laughs> no, two hundred fifty thousand. I think is another big milestone because it's kind of like the quarter million mark. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm very appreciative. Hopefully, this wasn't too in your face. I'm not begging for money at all. I'm not. I don't want. I don't need any money for this. I just, just. I want you guys. I want to thank you guys, and um, look out for cool videos, more videos coming to this channel very soon. And thank you guys so much.